kids, how are you today? Let's draw a butterfly. I love butterflies, don't you? We do a circle for the head and a long oval shape for the body with some curvy lines. There, let's do the wings. They're kind of like heart shapes with one part bigger than the other part. So the top wing's going to be slightly larger than the bottom wing. And then a couple more at the bottom, one on each side. Little one. Brilliant, let's do the antennae. Curly whirly. Curly whirly. Some eyes. These are just little circles, nice and easy. And a curvy line for a smile. Now let's decorate some spots, one on each of the lower, smaller wings. Time to colour. We're going to do the butterfly's body in yellow using a nice bright colouring pen. You can always use paint or crayons or even pencils, whatever you prefer to use to colour in your butterfly. And if you feel like it, you could do each section of the butterfly's body in a different colour. There, let's do orange spots. Brilliant! Purple for the lower wings. I love that combination of orange and purple. The darkness of the purple really makes the brightness of the orange stand out. Lovely. Have you ever seen a real butterfly? Maybe in the garden or in the meadows? Aren't they just beautiful? Right, let's colour the wings. We're going for a pretty in pink. Some nice long strokes here, colouring it in very quickly and easily. And then we just tidy up around the edges. It's got a nice thin tip, this pen, so that makes it easy to just stay in between the black lines. Same for the bottom wing. Do you know what baby butterflies are called? That's right, they are called caterpillars. Isn't it amazing how a caterpillar turns into this beautiful butterfly? They eat and eat and eat and eat, and then they form a chrysalis around them, like a happy home to live in and hibernate for quite some time. And then they burst through and come out as a gorgeous butterfly. And did you know when they come out, their wings are folded? And then they open them out, these beautiful, bright pink wings. Wow! Butterflies come in all different colours. There, let's do the face now. That's going to be yellow, just like the body, but a paler yellow. And the eyes. Now let's shade the border to make it nice and thick. And it just completes the final look. And it looks great. There! Some pupils. And we are done. Brilliant! Hey kids! This video is going to be so much fun! We're going to draw and paint a honeybee, starting with the antennae. Then the oval shaped body, and of course the stripes, and the wings. Did you know that a bee's wings are actually so small, technically it shouldn't be able to fly? How amazing! Right, let's paint. Starting with black for the antennae and every other stripe. Do you know what a bee's antennae are used for? They're used for communicating. Isn't that amazing that bees communicate with each other? Right, we've gone for yellow next for the face, painting around those eyes. And of course, the remaining stripes will also be yellow. Gorgeous. We painted the sting black already and we're going for the wings. Blue for the wings. paint diagonally from side to side. You can paint more surface area faster. Good little tip for you. See, we're not going in straight lines up and down or side to side. We're going diagonally. 
Almost there. You're doing a great job. Yes, and we are done. That is absolutely beautiful. Hi, kids. How are you today? Let's draw and paint a ladybug, starting with the round eyes, a smile and a big round face and some rosy cheeks and the antennae. Lots of circles here. The body. Don't forget the spots. See, more circles. You'll be an expert. And the leg. Cute little feet. Hmm, how many should we draw? How about six? Perfect. Ready to paint. Start with black for the antennae. And the face. Carefully going around the eyes and the rosy cheek circles. Gorgeous. That's it. Almost there. And done. The feet. And the spots. Nice and easy this one because we only need a few colours. Brilliant. Last one. And let's go for red. Red for the main body. Carefully painting around those black spots. If you use a small tipped paintbrush to go around the edge of the circles, that will really help make it easier for you to shade in all the rest. Side to side. That's it. Excellent. Keep going. You're nearly there. Oh, this is looking lovely. And we're done. Rosy cheeks. Ta-da! See? Black and red ladybug so cute hey kids look at this beauty isn't he gorgeous let's draw him a beak and the neckline the body the wing the legs and feet and the glorious tail Do you know what kind of bird this is? Take a guess. That's right, it's a peacock. Look at that amazing display. Some lines down the middle of each feather. Little bit of detail here on the head. Ready to paint. Okay, we're going for gold, first of all. That's for the beak. Next we'll go for green. Aww. And some blue. Yes, our peacock body is going to be blue, but of course you can choose any colour you like. Really, it's your picture so you can be creative. And the wing. Brilliant. Going for brown for the legs and the feet. And yellow now for our middle feather. Carefully painting around the black lines, leaving that teardrop shape. There you go. And pink. Ooh, I love this colour next to the yellow. Gorgeous. What's your favourite colour? <laughs> Me too. I'm doing the same either side of the yellow because I think it really makes it stand out. It's called symmetry when it's identical, exactly the same on each side. Green for the next one. Lovely, other side too. Yellow, pink, green. Hmm, what colour shall we do the last feather? Red, what a great idea. I was thinking exactly the same. Strokes from side to side, one half at a time. Excellent. Ooh, we're almost there. And around the teardrop shape. Woohoo, going for pink for our first teardrop. Then how about yellow? Yes, it's like a backwards version of the first feather. And some red. Lovely. Other side. So how about green for the last one? Brilliant. 
I just love it. And you're done! Amazing! Look at that beautiful display. The peacock is truly wonderful. Hey kids, how are you today? Would you like to draw a caterpillar? Brilliant! Starting with a nice squiggly line. And then all you need to do is draw loads of circles. A big one for the head first of all. Some smaller oval shapes for the eyes, eyebrows, antennae of course. Little baby circles there, a smiley face. And now the body. Some legs. And some small circles inside each of the bigger circles for the body. And we're done, ready to paint. Ooh, what colour should we do first? Yellow, what a great idea. Yellow spots in a yellow bottom. Let's do the face yellow too. Using a small tip paintbrush, carefully painting around the features. Staying in between the black lines. Have you ever seen a real caterpillar in your garden? I love them, don't you? Fantastic, nearly there. Just around the mouth, side to side, small strokes. Up and down, and we're done. Well done, time for some pink for our mouth. And a red tongue, yippee. Right, let's paint the body. Let's go for pink first. The first segment can be pink. It matches the mouth, you know. And the antennae, why not? Then green. Wow, what a bright colour that is. It really stands out. Hmm, what colour should we do next? How about red? What a great idea. Do you have a favourite colour? I bet you've never seen a rainbow caterpillar like this one before. Blue net. Lovely. And for the last segment, we can do purple. Brilliant. It's my favourite colour. Excellent. And we're done. Say hello to your gorgeous rainbow caterpillar. Doesn't he look lovely? Hello! Oh, look at this beautiful flower. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's a tulip. One of my favourites. Let's start by drawing the facial features. Eyes, mouth, eyelashes, a teardrop for the inner petal, and two on either side, a stalk, two leaves. Darkening up the border. Very easy to draw this flower's shape. Ready to paint already? Okay, let's go for a pink. A beautiful pink tulip. But you know tulips can be all different colours, so you can paint your favourite colour if you like. Or use your imagination. Why not do a rainbow tulip and paint each petal a different colour? Green leaves and stalk. That's right, almost done already. And voila! And if you want to paint lots of these, you could make a whole field of tulips just like this one. Look, there's even yellow ones in the background and a windmill. Ooh, brilliant. Go on, give it a go. Hey kids, would you like to learn how to draw flowers? It is super easy and you can do it all different ways. Look, let's show you. First of all, you draw your centre, which is just a little circle, and then some nice oval shapes to form your petals. And there you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's try a different one. This time we're going to do a little cut in the middle of each petal, and they're a bit wider than the last one. There. For this flower, we're going to make the petals look like heart shapes. Perfect! 
This one has long, thin petals, just like a daisy. And we're doing a second layer as well. These petals are shorter and wider with a lovely detail around the centre. So you can experiment with these different shaped flowers. Use your imagination and think how many different types you could draw. This one has more pointy leaves and two layers. Do you know how many different types of flowers have been found in the world so far? About 400,000! Can you believe that? All of them are different. So have fun with this, be creative and experiment with different sized and shaped petals. OK, I think we're ready to paint. Ooh, let's start with this one. Purple for the centre. Some lovely yellow petals. I have to say, this is one of my favourite colour combinations. Purple and yellow. Absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? Maybe you could name your flowers. Make up your own names. Do you know what the 10 most popular flowers are? Let's tell you. We've got the rose. You all know roses, don't you? They come in all different colours. But most famous rose is a red rose. And we're going to paint this flower's petals red. Lovely. And I'll mix it up with a different colour in between because that will look very interesting. After roses, the most popular flower is the tulip. They also come in all different colours and they're absolutely gorgeous. Then you've got the sunflower, of course. Have you ever tried to grow a sunflower from a seed? I recommend it. They're amazing. They're yellow, just like these petals. Also very popular and a wonderful sign of the first beginnings of spring is the daffodil. I'm sure you've seen those around. They are gorgeous and they really cheer people up after a hard, cold winter. Then we've got the marigold. Again, they can come in you know, slightly different shades. And here we're doing a lovely red one with a yellow centre. You can also do different shades of the same colour. It looks beautiful. Daisies, of course, are very popular. Have you ever tried to make a daisy chain? A necklace or a bracelet or even an anklet out of daisies, making a little hole in the end of the stem and then just joining them up together to form a band. It's so much fun. The orchid is one of the most beautiful flowers ever that we love to put them in our windows on display. Carnations are also very popular. Gerberas, which come in all different colours, just like this one. And jasmine. Jasmine has the most gorgeous smell. Let's go for yellow for the centre of this one and some purple on the outside. So it's like a backwards version of our first flower, which was yellow petals and purple inside. Let's carefully paint around our detail. There! Lovely. Hmm, let's do this one yellow in the middle. We've got a big centre point in this one and some pink around that. Excellent. What colour do you think we should do our second layer of petals? Should we do it the same or a different colour? Yay, blue! What a great choice! Blue and pink go really well together, don't you think? That's looking lovely. OK, let's do the next one. So we're going to go for gold in the middle. And green around the outside. Beautiful. It's like a little sun shining in the centre of a green field. Almost there. Excellent! Last but not least, let's do our long petalled flower. Green in the middle this time and pink petals. This one does look a bit like a daisy, doesn't it? It's just a different colour. Imagine if we had pink daisies, wouldn't that be wonderful? Flowers are just amazing and you can have loads of fun with this designing your own, even making up your own names. There you go! Now let's see them close up. Oh, look at that. 
Isn't it beautiful? Wow! Let's see another. Oh, look at that. Those colours are just wonderful. Oh, I'm feeling like summer is here already with all these gorgeous flowers. Flowers really brighten up your day, don't you think? So if you haven't already done so, I recommend you get some seeds and plant them in your garden if you have a garden. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can just plant them in some lovely pot. Do be sure to keep them in the sunshine and make sure you water them daily as well because flowers need sunshine and water to grow. You'll be so excited when you see those little green leaves sprouting up from the mud. Now, which one is your favourite? Oh, it's so difficult to decide. I just love them all. Well done. You did a fantastic job drawing and painting these gorgeous glitter flowers. Hey kids, how are you today? Would you like to draw and paint a sparkly squirrel with me? You would? Brilliant! We'll start by using a black pen to draw the outline. We're going to do a foot and the leg, the arm, fingers, tummy. Squirrel's holding a nut, so we draw that too. The other foot. Facial features, the eye, nose and mouth, the other ear and finally a big bushy tail. That's right, we've got to have a big bushy tail on a squirrel. Curvy lines and done! Brilliant! Time to paint! Hmm, let's go with yellow first of all. We're going to paint our squirrel lovely and yellow. Look at that. I do say, Mr Squirrel, it looks fantastic with your blue eyes. Carefully painting with a small tipped paintbrush in between the black boundary lines. painting the main body, so that's the face, the ears, the arms, the back, the legs and of course the feet. You're doing really well, keep going, almost there. Done! Going for gold! The inside of the ear, around the mouth and of course the nut. Let's do the tummy the same colour too. Excellent. Going for black this time. We're going to paint the nose. And then brown for the nutshell. Time for a colourful tail, starting with pink for the first segment. Our squirrel has a lovely stripy tail. Yes, what next? How about purple? I love purple. And purple and pink are like brother and sister, you know. They just go so well together. And done! Last but not least, we're going for bright green because it's really good to have some contrast, don't you think? Excellent! Well done, kids! You did a great job! Go on, go along and eat that gnat. Yummy! Friends, today we're going to draw two pandas in love. Hey, let's start with the girl panda. Let's draw an ear and a hair bow. Ah, lovely. Doing the outline of the face, a nose, two big eye patches with the eyes in between. So lots of oval shapes there. Don't forget the pupils. The other ear now. And a happy open mouth. Let's draw her bottom and her foot. Her leg outline. Oh, this panda is so cute, don't you think? Her arm and hand. Her shoulder. And her other hand is holding on to something. Oh, there's another hand. <gasps> this looks like a heart. 
and another foot. This is the boy panda. We're drawing the paws now. Let's do his leg and his bottom. His arm and hand over the heart. Little bit of spiky hair there. His head. Let's do a nose. The eyes. Kind of mirroring the girl panda's features. And a mouth. They're both very happy because they're in love. The ears. His neck and shoulder. Finishing the heart. Some rosy cheeks. Finishing touches. Inside of the ears. And finally, some cute little tails. There. Let's shade in the outer border. Just make it more black, more thick. And the eye patches and nose and mouths. And the arms and hands. And the legs and the paws. And the outer ears and tail. So that's all black. There, let's use some pink for her hair bow. We got to look pretty for our loved one, haven't we? Ooh, what a pretty pink hair bow it is. And some pink rosy cheeks to match. She's blushing, blushing with love. And a red heart, the colour of love. We're using wonderful colouring pens here with nice fine tips. Easy to get around those borders so that we don't go over anything we don't want to. Going around the hands and the arms. Keeping within the heart border. That bright red colour really does stand out fantastically against the black, doesn't it? Very effective. going around the bottom edge and the feet and then shading it in line at a time it's that easy just like painting it on but with a pen and we're almost done with our gorgeous Valentine's panda bears holding a heart ah Squawk, squawk. Oh, it's a parrot. Hello, how are you today? Hey, let's draw one. Let's start by doing the tongue and the beak. Now let's do the face and the round part of the body. Some feathers on the head, an eyebrow. Now the wing, lots of ovals. And join it to the body. And the second layer of feathers. And a third layer of feathers with longer strokes. Wow, so simple and so effective. The other wing. Again, layer upon layer of feathers. Excellent. One more layer. Wow, look at that. Such a beautiful parrot. Now let's do the legs. We're going to do a little bit of fair at the end of those, joining onto the foot. Three talons. Perfect, let's do the other leg, same way. And the foot, the talons. One, two, three. Excellent. Oh, let's do the tail. Some long feathers for the tail, four feathers. Join that up to the body with some shorter feathers. And there, brilliant. Let's paint, starting with red. Yay, let's do red for the first top layer of our feathers. Curvy lines stay in between and do the legs the same color. Yeah, let's have them matching, why not? And the other wing, curve, curve, curve. 
and long strokes, filling in the lines. And let's do the tuft of hair on the top as well, around the face. And the body. A nice red parrot, here we go. Ooh, yeah, brushing to and fro. Let's go with yellow. Yellow for the beak. Very, very nice. Lovely peach, more subtle for the mouth. And some bright pink for the tongue. Green next. Let's do our face green going carefully around our eye. And yellow is going to be our next layer of wing feathers. It looks so gorgeous, it matches the beak. I'd like to paint this again next week. Ooh, I love this parrot so much. I like the finishing sparkly touch. Look at that. Let's do purple next for the third and final layer of each of our wings. And they're both going to be matching, of course. Do you have a favourite bird? Ooh, I like toucans. I think they're really cool and I love the colours on their beak. But parrots are super awesome as well. I love how they can speak and learn what to say. It's amazing, isn't it? Right, blue next for our tail. The top part's going to be blue. I have to say that that is one of my favourite colours. Then yellow for our first long feather. Let's go with pink next for our second long feather. Green for the third one. What colour should we do the last one? Hmm, how about purple? Yeah, that will match the wings. Lovely. Brown now for the rest of the legs and feet. The light brown, kind of chocolatey and a dark one for the talons. Beautiful. Wow, and there we have it. A beautiful rainbow sparkly parrot. Squawk, squawk. All right, mate. Who's a pretty girl then? Hey kids, do you like unicorns and cats? Well, we're going to show you how to draw a unicorn cat. Starting with the outline, some ears, a bit of fur, nose, the unicorn horn, lovely, inner ears, eyes, some cheeks, a nice cheeky cat face. Now we're going to draw the outline of a cup. So our cute kitty is sitting in a cup and the paws hanging over the edge there. And the handle, oh, it's so cute. The base of the cup and a face of the cup. Smiling, of course, we like a happy cup. Finishing off the last final details. Paws, patches, the inner rim of the cup and the smiley cat face. Don't forget the whiskers and the eyebrows. There, ready to paint. Yeah, starting with sparkly pink. Let's paint the top part of the unicorn horn. And yellow. Yellow next to the pink, yes, I think so. Turquoise. Turquoise can go next. Brilliant, now for the red. Let's paint our mouth red. And pink. Pink can go on the inner ears. And the cheeks and the nose. Oh, and the little patches. And the paws. Yeah, gorgeous. Let's go back to yellow again. Yellow can go on the cup. There, let's make a gorgeous sparkly yellow cup. Bright, sunny, colourful, vibrant, happy yellow. <laughs> Don't you just love it? What colour would you like to paint your cup? How about gold? You could even make it multicoloured at the front or put a pattern on it. Anything you like, really. Be creative. There. Now, some green. Green's going to go on the inside rim of the cup at the top. And some peach for the cup's mouth. A little bit of purple. Under the green, I think. Then red for the handle. Wow, this is really starting to look fantastic. What do you think, kids? Do you like it? Let's go back to turquoise because I love that colour. It's perfect for a finishing touch. Lovely. There you have it. A gorgeous unicorn cat in a rainbow cup. So 
subscribe and watch more.